The biggest argument for those who promote the idea of an intelligent design is that nothing could exist unless it came from somewhere. This is a tricky thing to explain to someone who has never dared to dream beyond the limits of their own reality. How do you explain infinity to someone who is capable of understanding it, yet unwilling to put out the effort? They avoid attempts to believe in an infinite universe. Probably the best example of this that I've seen was in a comment on YouTube. A user said that if time was infinite, it would never reach the point where life could exist. A very profound statement, I must admit. Any single point on an infinite timeline would require an infinity of time to reach, since time is infinite. I'm not sure if this person thought this went up himself or was quoting someone, but obviously someone did make an effort to at least think of a good argument against infinity. Now, ignoring the obvious argument against this, that infinity must exist at some point, I wonder if he considered that by his reasoning, God, being himself infinite, would never have reached the point where he created the universe. Another commenter on a different video said that the reason God can be infinite when the universe can't is that God exists outside of our sphere of reality. The physical laws that we understand don't apply there. Now that may be true. It would certainly place God outside the realm of scientific inquiry. But then, science isn't in the business of proving or disproving the existence of God anyway. It never was. Science is only concerned with the understanding of the universe we are capable of knowing and studying. Personally, I like the explanation given by all the ancient cultures about infinity. You may have heard of it. It describes the universe as a fractal, a mathematical equation capable of replicating itself into infinity depending on the equation and its interactions. They believed that things work in a similar way on all levels, as above, so below. To them, life was a repeating cycle. They referred to the cycle with a reverence of sorts because of its beauty and complexity. Some even interpreted it as God. They believed that the cycle begins where it ends, but that it never ends, because it never begins.